All right, good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We're coming to you live from our studio here in sunny South Florida, bringing you another wonderful spotlight episode uh, of Twist Gaming. But first off, let's get some introductions out of the way. As usual, I'm Matt. I'm Anne. I'm Josh. And today we are joined with Sam from Slugfest Games. How are you doing today, Sam? I'm doing well. So, Sam, it's not your first rodeo here. We're glad to have you back. Definitely. I believe this is my third rodeo. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Yeah, we had uh, we had Sam on at uh, PAX Unplugged, right? Yep. And that was you guys at Red Dragon and Six, where I wasn't here for it, sadly. Yeah. Uh, so without any further ado, let's get into what we're going to be broadcasting on our spotlight this evening. Uh, so first and foremost, we would like to say that this stream and all of this week's streams are brought to you by Slugfest Games with Red Dragon in Seven, the Tavern Crew, uh, and that is going to be what we're spotlighting tonight: uh, Red Dragon in Seven, the Tavern Crew. Uh, so, Sam, you want to give us a little bit of backstory? I know a lot of people know Red Dragon Inn, uh, yes. but what are we expecting, or what are we going to see here with uh, RDI 7? Okay, uh, so let's start with what Red Dragon Inn is, the, the super quick <laughs> elevator pitch. The Red Dragon Inn is the game of what happens after the adventure. You've slain the dragon, gone back to town, are all healed up and ready to try and survive the after party. <laughs> and excitement ensues. It's because you're all seasoned adventurers, so you party pretty hard. Of course. Um, that was 10 years ago. That was Red Dragon in 1. Uh, we are now on Red Dragon in 7, and the most requested character is finally joining the game, and that's the wench right there yeah. over Josh's head. <laughs> and, and I didn't even choose. They actually let me play the – like, they picked different characters, and I just got to choose the wench. That was Excellent. That was a shock to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. So so she's been heavily requested, and basically uh, Red Dragon in 7 started design in earnest when we ran our um, character creation um, uh, contest, uh, which resulted in Kronos, Keat, Ni and Nitrel. Uh, those ally characters were, were created out of that. And a lot of people pitched wenches at us. And we're like, we're not going to do a we're, we're not going to do the wench because everyone's going to have preconceived notions about what she should be doing in the game. And then we finally broke and we're like, okay, fine. Here's the wench. We, we, we kind of figured out a way so that she can do all of the things that people want her to do, like steal all of the money all of the time <laughs> uh, without breaking the game. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, we had Warthorn Redbeard, which we introduced in our Pathfinder uh, source book. And that's the dwarf over there. I mean, if you couldn't tell, he's the one with the red beard. Um, and and he's the canonical owner of the Red Dragon Inn. So we already had two of the characters figured out, so we started playing around with some other ones, and we got Molly, the stable hand, and Jasper, the uh, bouncer. The wizard, right there. And you're like, wizard bouncer? Well, I mean, if you're going to have raging barbarians and berserking ogres in your tavern, you bring a wizard to take them out of the tavern. I think that one of the first things I noticed when I was looking at the characters for the first time was how much... I mean, I kind of think that Redbeard is your typical bar barkeep. Like, that's who I picture as an owner. But, like, you're, even Molly as a stable hand, you usually see, like, stable boy, the big, like, ogre, somebody who's very yeah. strong to move stuff. Like, the characters kind of um, take you by surprise, and I think that's so cool, just right off the bat. Like, your wench is like a gypsy with a sword. Like, it's not... Turn the expectations <laughs> on their head a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. Yeah. I think that's really cool. I mean, it's a, I, I mean whenever I play role-playing games, I like to do that. Just just tweak things just a little bit. And, it makes and things all interesting. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, in this game, you want me to go ahead and dive into the mechanics? You guys got any other bookkeeping stuff you need to take care of first? I, I think... I think we're good. Uh, we could talk. I mean, we already kind of introduced ourselves quasi and who we're playing this evening, but Josh is going to be playing as the wench. Uh, Anne is playing as the stable girl, and I'm playing as the uh, the bar owner, mm -hmm. a tavern owner. Uh, so let's get some magic going, Josh. I need, I need your help here. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. So let's move over here. We've got the board set up, or we got the, the player mat set up uh, centrally located so you all can see what we're at at any given time. Vanna White. Excellent. Ooh. Uh, so we are all starting out at uh, the requisite 20 health and zero <coughs> alcohol content. <laughs> uh, you didn't so pre you didn't pregame? I didn't no. pregame at all. I'm the bar owner. I mean, 
I don't have to pregame. <laughs> trying to be responsible so you can pay attention and keep your money. Exactly. We'll see. Exactly. Uh, so, Sam, basic setup here. Correct me if I'm wrong. We're each going to be getting 10 gold. Uh, we have our own character decks that we're starting off with uh, seven cards uh, in our hands. And yep. uh, 20 health, zero alcohol content, and one drink in our drink me pile. Correct. Uh, so the basis of Red Dragon Inn is all about the drinking. Uh, so this is just an ex oh, that's a bad example. That's not a drink card. Okay. <laughs> there we go. So here's here's your standard drink card. There. So we got some Elven wine, and it's going to give you three alcohol content. So that's just a overview of how those cards work. And you get that, and you're going to go, oh look, I'm going to go up to three, and I'm getting slightly more drunk. And Sam, what happens when uh, our health and our alcohol content? meet as without a doubt they will well for those observant folks in the stream uh you'll notice that the alcohol content and fortitude are on the same track which means that as you get more drunk you can take less damage and vice versa so if your uh fortitude should ever meet your alcohol content or drop below it so if they meet both meet on 11 or if they cross paths uh you fall unconscious and everyone else in the in uh, everyone else in the game splits your money up with the tavern. Yeah. Um, so that's a good way to get some money back if you're running out of money. Uh, speaking of gold, everyone starts with 10 gold, and as long as you have at least one gold piece, you are in the game. But as soon as you lose that last gold piece and can no longer pay for beverages, uh, you get kicked out of the tavern. And you get to spend the rest of the night, you know, sleeping in the alley or something like that. Oh, is that uh, the next expansion, the uh, alley? In the, <laughs> yeah. the uh, Red Dragon Inn? <laughs> Red Dragon Inn 8, the alley. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, each character plays the same game. So each, every, each character is trying to defend their fortitude, uh, kind of temper their, the, amount, the speed at which they're gaining alcohol content, and keep a hold of their gold. Um, however, each character also has a unique character deck, and many characters now have unique character mechanics. So we're going to go ahead and start with the wench in the middle there, because she's the easiest to explain. Um, oh, and, and one more thing for the people on the stream. Uh, all of these assets are, are in development, and you'll notice that there are some cards that just have text boxes, and some cards that have line art, and other cards that have what appears to be final artwork and that sort of thing. It's all sprinkled all over the place because they were working on that templating currently. Um, all right, so diving into the wench, uh, she has a side deck called the Special Reserve deck. So normally in the game you have a 30-card drink deck. Well, the wench brings her own 15-card um, Special Reserve deck. They're and the Special the Reserve back. cards are quite bad. Or rather, they're quite high impact. The bad ones are worse than normal, and the good ones are better than normal. So, for example, she brings Dragon Breath Ale with a chaser to the game. Um, she also, uh, there's a subset of special reserve drinks called elixirs, which give you a persistent bonus after you consume them. So if, as long as you consume alcohol content from those cards, you get to then benefit from them later. So, for example, the Elixir of Protection, you'll gain three alcohol content now, but you get to ignore something that affects your fortitude later. So a lot of her cards have a high impact like that. And the only way to get them is for when she plays a card that has the tankard icon in the bottom corner of the uh, card. Like that. So that card, for example, will give you two tankards. And she also has uh, her... She has an Anytime card that has no text in the text box and just gives you a tankard. Um, Can I pause you right there just to, uh, as a point of clarification, because I don't think that we mentioned it yet. Could you explain oh. what a chaser is? Oh, a chaser means that you drink the next uh, drink under the pile. So all special reserve drinks always go on top of a player's drink me pile and cannot be buried by other cards. If, if they would get a normal drink, and there's a special reserve drink there. That normal drink slips underneath it. Oh. Yeah. So you always have the bad stuff on top. Or, sorry, not the bad stuff, because some of them are quite good. But you always have the fun stuff floating on top. On top. So, of course, the tavern wench is going to make sure you drink her drink first, because yeah. she's serving it to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll bring it on the reserves. And when you run good out stuff. of cards in the drink deck, 
then you can't, if you don't have a drink to chase it with, then you just don't, Correct. right? Yeah. Correct. So for hers, that's really ups the chances that you're going to have a chaser. Yeah. Because you're not oh, yeah. putting it underneath. And, of course, you could chain the chasers together, too. So if you happen to get a couple of them back to back yeah. to back, you could be in a world of Hurt. intoxication. <laughs> yeah. Not bad. Uh, uh, Sam, do I get to look at those before I hand them out? Uh, no. They okay. are just Aww. like how she hands them out in the game. She just hands them out, and it's it's going to be a surprise. You okay. get what you get. So she, he's a sassy wench. <laughs> Oh, yeah. He's the sassy and then the wench wench. also has a, a variety of signature cards that are unique to her. Uh, for example, she can scoop up a pot of gold um, during a round of gambling. Uh, she can intercept money that's going to the inn, so that if someone gets a fine ambrosia and would pay two gold to drink it, she could take the gold. She's skipping um, it off the top. She puts it into her corset. Yes. <laughs> well, she's not that kind of wench. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She'll tell you as much in one of her cards. <laughs> uh, more of a Deirdre thing, anyway. Uh, so, so that's the wench. Uh, we'll dive into Warthorn next. Oh, uh, tankards on the wench's cards resolve when that card goes to the discard pile, if it was not negated. So, you do everything on the card that has a tankard icon, and then the very last thing you do is you hand a player of your choice a special reserve drink. Okay, but it wouldn't trigger if I discarded those cards to draw a new card, it, right? Correct. You have okay. to play the card and ask to resolve. So okay. if it gets negated by I don't think so, for example, then you don't get to do the thing. Okay. Very good. All right. Uh, Warthorn Redbeard has a story deck. So he's going to be talking our ears off and sharing tales of all of the great adventures that he's had and that people who have come to his tavern have had. This character was so, so appropriately chosen for you to play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. So, uh, many of Warthorn's character deck cards have a pipe icon, and they will reveal one of these cards. Uh, this is a story card. It has uh, a lot of fun uh, lore from the Red Dragon Inn universe attached to it. Not all of the lore is necess necessarily canon right now because we're still massaging the titles of cards. Okay. Um, and what a story card does is it adds its effects to the card that played it. Uh, so you can think of them kind of in the same vein that Wizgill's gear cards work for her device cards. Uh, so, for example, if uh, Warthorn plays a card that flips over this, you add the effect order two drinks to the card that's already in play. Um, and well, what makes the story cards different from gears is that a lot of them will do uh, will either affect the group of players equally. Or will encourage Warthorn to make friends. He'll be like, I get this bonus, but you get a better one. So you should be my friend. Uh, and that's what it is. You are so going to be forced to play nice. Uh, that's on, you know, I'll, I'll make it work. Mm -hmm. Sam, is there a specific accent I need to put on for Warthorn? <laughs> uh, it is undefined. I mean, I imagine that most people will go with Scottish because that's what Tolkien said that they sounded like. <laughs> Duly noted. Um, all right, and then we have, finally, we have Molly the Stable Hand, our halfling uh, laborer. Uh, she has a mount deck, or sorry, the stable deck, which is invisible. <laughs> See through probably, stable deck. We should probably mention that our card cam uses green screen technology, and the card backs are green. Are green, so that is yes. actually what it looks like. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's uh, so Molly the Stable Hand has uh, these wonderful cards. The the cards that have a horse icon on them uh, will reveal additional mounts when they are resolved. So the same way that the wench's cards work, a mount will have uh, either one or two abilities. It'll have a green text box which will tell you what cool benefit is happening for Molly or what dangerous thing is happening for everyone at the table. Or it'll have a yellow text box, which is its rival ability. So many of the animals in the stable don't get along with each other. For example, Snookums the Giant Eagle doesn't like Philip the Giant Groundhog. <laughs> Makes uh, sense. Our, yeah. our riding dog is not friends with our riding panther, etc., etc. So when you reveal a rival effect, 
they fight, and one of them will usually get discarded, but sometimes one of them will get discarded, and Molly will have to lose some fortitude because she has to wrangle the beasts. Um, at any at any time, she can only have three uh, animals in play at the same time, and uh, carefully managing which ones are in play is going to uh, alter how she can uh, benefit from things. Like, uh, some, some of the animals can be used like they were sometimes cards to ignore other effects, buying you time in the stables for animals that have continuous effects. Many of the animals just trigger immediately and do a thing, like our elder chicken is just going to take a giant bite out of somebody. Oh, I cannot wait to oh have God. an elder chicken <laughs> bite somebody! I'm so excited! <laughs> I'm, now I'm concerned about playing no, with this you, because I know so you're going to sick the chicken on me. <laughs> to sick the chicken on you. Well, while I was on Tilted Table, uh, <gasps> I, I, I went to Molly. Jasper helped me, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He's, he's so thin and frail. Jasper got bit? I mean, he's a wizard, though. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my, my giant chicken took a bite out of the boss, but, you know. Oh, okay. So, I know we're not playing with him this evening, but do you want to talk about Jasper a little bit, Sam? Sure. Uh, Jasper the Bouncer is the fourth character in the box. Uh, basically, ever since Red Dragon in 3, people asked us to have a more vanilla character in each of the base sets uh, because they're like, hey, my buddy who's never played Red Dragon in before wants to play, but we've got all these new characters. Can we have an easy one for them to grab? So that's Jasper. He uh, just has his normal 40-card character deck. However, like all of our characters, he has unique signature cards that give him a, a very different playstyle. So uh, Jasper is the bouncer, and he will be escorting himself and other players out of the game from time to time. He'll, uh, he'll also be making sure that everyone's paying the money that they need to be doing, paying for various things. So he'll defend the inn from cards that will steal money from the inn. And he'll make players pay for breaking stuff when they get to fighting each other. Very good. I like it. All right. So, Sam, is there anything else before we get started? I think, well, I know one thing. When uh, when I'm in a tavern, that there's a little bit of gambling going on. We didn't discuss the, uh, the gambling mechanics here. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, so, so, for gambling, you want to take us through uh, what a basic round of gambling looks like? Um, a basic round of gambling, uh, well, I mean, let's, let's go ahead and go over some cards real quick. There are uh, four primary kinds of cards in a character deck. There are action cards, which you play on your turn to usually cause damage to one or more other players. There are sometimes cards, which are you played in response to those uh, action cards, usually, and they help defend you from damage. There are anytime cards, which are your utility cards, which you can play at any time, usually to interrupt people or to last chance save you. And then finally, you have gambling and cheating cards. And I group those together because they do mostly the same thing. Uh, when a player plays the action card gambling I'm in, they start a mini game where everyone's going to lose some money. Um, and one player will take all of that money. Uh, basically, gambling works... Uh, Pretty straightforward. The last player to play a gambling or cheating card takes all of the money for the round. The tricky part is that uh, various gambling cards will have uh, restrictions. So if someone plays a winning hand, no one else can play a gambling I'm in, a winning hand, or a uh, I raise card. But they can play cheat cards. Uh, as far as cheaters at this table are concerned, uh, Molly, uh, her, her animals cheat a little bit, and the wenches... The wench has a little, tr a few tricks up her sleeve. Uh, Warthorn Redbeard plays a completely legit game, but then also just kind of gets in people's way a lot. That's interesting. Uh, th this set is quite uh, gambling heavy, uh, much like Red Dragon in Six was. I liked, I liked the gambling in Red Dragon in 6. I'm curious to see how this plays with Red Dragon in 7, because I remember with the people that we had last game. Mm -hmm. That would be myself uh, Nicole. and Nicole. Yeah. yeah. Um, I felt in that game that the 
players, how they played really determined how much gambling went on. So I'm curious to see in this game how much we gamble as opposed to the, as compared to last time. I hope we get into that. Oh, yes. So I can take all your money. Oh, thank this you. this setup, it looks like no one's is going to be weak on gambling. Um, but but if Jasper was here, then you might be trying to take advantage of the old man, but then he would flip that on you sometime. <laughs> He's a wise wizard for a reason, right? Oh, yes. All right, so Sam, how do we determine who goes first here? Uh, randomly. At random. <laughs> So, yeah, random. Who, do, who do you want to go first? How are we doing this? Right, yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Bam, bam! Uh, and you right, go first, man. First. That was that so was... good. I'm so happy that's recorded. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, I we have all of our character cards here facing towards you guys. Mine's a little different. Yeah, yours is slightly yours different. Is Mine's slightly different. different. And what's really nice about the character cards is the guys at Slugfest printed a nice quick turn order reference, quick reference guide right here on the sheet. Um, so for my turn order, I'm playing Molly. I'm a just a little different because the first thing on my list is stable amount. So... Correct me all the corrections, Sam, if I mess this up. All right. So all I'm I'm going to go into my stable deck. And yep. I'm gonna take the top card. Yes. And we'll see what happens. That is my top card. Okay, so your top card here you got you have to say that. Ellen Draw the Unicorn. There you go. Whose rivals with Sparkles the Nightmare. I love that. Aw, Sparkles. Uh, so if you look under Ellen Draw the Unicorn, it simply says Mount. Now, that means that his uh, impact is going to be consistent. Okay. Because sometimes they have where it says Mount hyphen immediate okay, or things so like it's, that. It's an immediate use card for that. And then this is a continuous use card. Correct. Correct. So at the end of my turn, once per turn, you may discard two cards to gain a fortitude. Oh, that's nice. You can self-heal then. Absolutely. Now, we decided to put Molly's character card up on top of the three because whereas uh, with Warthorns and the Wenches de uh, character cards, you just have your special reserve deck section or your story deck section, I actually have three separate sections here for my mounts for each stage at which they're at. So I'm going to grab Elendrel the Unicorn and I'm going to place him in the Just Got Here section. Just got Correct. here. Just got here. Hey, Elendrel. I kind of resume Monopoly, like just passing, just visiting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, the next step in my turn order is to discard and draw. Hand size is seven. Hand size is seven. So Eight. if any number of cards and draw up to a hand size uh, or to a new hand of seven or you can discard no cards so it allows you to cycle through your deck if you don't have something particularly uh, enthralling to you or if the, the combination is just not there or if you don't have an action card that you want to play you can kind of oh. cycle through what you have and get, give yourself a better opportunity yes uh, one of the original design uh, intents was to to ensure that players have the maximal opportunities to get the cards that they need to. Um, way, this is, and this is way back from Red Dragon in one is the, is the, if, if your hand is absolutely not what you need right now, for example, if you're about to run out of money and you desperately need to gamble, you can dump your entire hand in an effort to try and draw those cards. Sometimes you got to go for the Hail Mary. So I want it's to, those card <laughs> disc to discard one card. Okay. So I'm going to discard it here. So. Fine. Okay. Face up. And I'm going to draw my card. Okay. Uh, so then the next step is my action phase. Indeed we do. So I'm going to try this. It's always fun when you're playing a new game for the first time. Because you're like... Let's just see what this does. <laughs> Let's, I don't know, throw it out there and see what happens. Okay, so you got... Watch out, Flying Horseshoe, which <laughs> is my action card. Uh, Ed the Talking Horse. Hello, Wilbur. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> is, kicking, uh, is kicking out his leg, sending a horseshoe flying. Molly has a farrier 
hammer and has a farrier hammer and nails between her teeth like she was just about to tack the shoe on. Pick another player. They lose one fortitude. Who's that horseshoe hidden? I don't know, but you're grabbing at cards real quick over there. <laughs> you got you got cards to back that up. I think it's gonna hit Josh. Back, 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 back it up. Back it up. It's, I, I, it's not Josh. It's going to hit the. Uh, it's gonna hit the, the wench. wench. The, wench? the poor wench. Yeah, because you know stables. she was standing up and she's tall and she's walking around. And <laughs> she's yeah. taller. She's a taller target from there. Um, Pookie thinks you should stop being mean to the wench. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> you may play this card immediately after you lose fortitude from a card played by another player. You may not play this card if you reduce that fortitude loss. That player loses four to two fortitude. Okay, so you lose one. I lose one, you lose two. Yep. I, I lose Pookie two. After you. you said Pookie after oh, me. Oh, Pookie's coming for now, you. Now, before Pookie resolves, um, there, was a, there was a horse yes. icon on, uh, on Anne's. So the proper order is Josh loses a fortitude. And reveals an animal, or reveals a mount, okay. and then and loses two fortitude. So, your new mount is kisses, kisses the, the dire, dire mosquito. mosquito. That's oh adorable. God. Reduce the AC of a drink you are about to drink by two. Now you see there the mount, the hyphen next to it is sometimes. So you don't always have to do this. Correct. And uh, so this would really only apply when I when I want. When I need it to. Correct. Um, so we're going to move Elendril from just got here to enjoying the stay. Mm -hmm. And Kisses is going to go into the just got here slot. Gotcha. Okay. And, so and then Poop takes a bite out of Molly. Yeah. yeah Unless yeah, Molly yeah. has a sometimes card that says otherwise. Now, is that the uh, the rabbit. Bloody Mary from RDI 6 that, uh, that I remember I'm from the drink deck? <laughs> uh, I believe the Bloody Mary from RDI 6 comes in one of those fancy bowls. Ah, okay. <sighs> goblets it's also lined with gums and teeth but you know. <laughs> <laughs> villains all right villains. so then Anne, uh i think you got to buy someone a drink uh yes yeah, so i get to order a drink i'm gonna buy you a drink look this happened last time it and did. it'll probably happen all it through did. this so thing. who's it going to matt you're looking a little light today it's my bar i don't uh, feel you know okay. what i just i appreciate you so much ah, thank you look I'll buy I'll, you a drink. I'll put you that really there. To, to join. And uh, you're looking a little thirsty, though, so I think it's time for you to drink. Oh, fingers crossed. Uh, round on the house. <sighs> See, you bought me a drink. I'm buying you a drink right back. It works out great. <laughs> so reveal a drink. Uh, if you reveal a drink event before revealing a drink, discard and reveal again. Each player, uh, including you, drinks a copy of the reveal drink. So uh, we're going to go to the drink deck. Yeah. Pull the top one. And... We got a halfling stout. That's so appropriate. It, it is appropriate. <laughs> uh, so we're all gonna drink two. Uh, uh, we're gonna get two alcohol content okay. from that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yummy. Oh, everyone just drinks it up. All right. Everybody. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> oh goodness. Y'all suck. Can you please? I don't have a cup. Uh, you use your knuckle. There we I go. I have a cup. There we go. <laughs> How's your halfling stout? Delicious. Su super yummy. Super yummy. It makes you feel like a whole wing. <laughs> All right. All right. So, so it's, it's gonna turn? pass. Yeah. Go yep. ahead, Josh. Goes to you. I'm gonna draw a card. Okay. Can I play multiple sometime cards? Uh, you can play multiple sometimes cards in response to the same trigger. Yes. All right. So. Sometimes um, cards will be very specific about what they are played in response to. Okay. Um, can I play two that are triggered off the same thing? Yes. Okay. Uh, I Matt, he gets these, and then that I'm not that kind of wench. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pick another player. They lose two fortitude. I don't think so. Oh, but it's not. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a sometimes. That's a sometimes. I played that wrong. Uh. Darn it. Wait, hold on. Hey, everybody, he's got an I don't think so in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Never mess with a dwarf. There you go. That's what I meant to play there. Uh, oh, you look at play... all this infighting. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm losing two fortitude, so you're going to lose two fortitude uh, as well, Josh. That's what you get. You don't mess with a dwarf. Um, spend enough time in the tavern and you learn a trick or two. What's that? 
ignore an action sometimes or any time card that affects your fortitude or alcohol. I'm I'm gonna play. I don't think so to that. There you go. I don't think so. You knew he had an I don't think so in his hand. I know your tricks, wench. Uh uh. There you go. I gotta do the snaps. What's an event considered? Uh, you'll see one of those. Okay. They come out of the drink deck. Okay. Oh, the, the, we're talking about one of those. Okay. All right, I guess I'll take the damage. Yeah, you will. I may <laughs> right. spend his... Two damage to each of you. You did. Thanks. Appreciate it. Appreciate so you're going to take two fortitude. I'm going to take two fortitude. We all take two fortitude. We all scream for ice cream. Well, Molly doesn't take two. <laughs> I'll take two fortitude. Uh, so now you're going to be buying some drinks. I'm going to be buying some drinks. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm going to buy uh, Anna a drink. Ooh. But I'm also going to play, uh, I got these special for you. What? Oh, you may play this card during the order drink phase, uh, place of phase of your turn. So you get to buy two drinks now. Um, and I could split those up, Sam? Yes. So you could obviously give one to Molly and then work. Yeah. No, oh, give, one, give both to me. Thanks, you Sam. Totally Appreciate that, it. Right? Appreciate you pointing <laughs> that out. Now, now, could I play another one of those cards if I have another one? Yes, you can. All right, so uh, I got what? some more special drinks for you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be chasers yeah. for days. You know that, right? Yeah. So, so the wench wants to just play out all of the special reserves like first thing. Now, yeah. most reserve drinks are chasers, but they wow. do tend to. Um, yeah, I want you guys to, to to drink up a little bit. Cool. So now you're going to drink a drink. You've, you've got one, <laughs> one. one little got drink, drink here. Drink. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so you got some fortified wine. What? So you're going to get two alcohol content, but you're going to heal a fortitude. Awesome. I know what the good stuff is. You do, apparently. <laughs> it pays to be the wench. It pays to be the wench. Okay, so it is my turn. I need to draw myself one, two, three, four, five. Uh, two cards. Well, let's see what we got here. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I... I want to tell you guys, I know what my patrons like. So, oh. look at the cards in your drink me pile. You may put up to one of those drinks on each other player's drink me pile. What is that? Does that apply for the special reserve? In it yes, also, <laughs> you're the worst. I know what my patrons like. <laughs> so I get to look at the cards in my drink me pile. See what I got coming up here, and I, I ooh, there's some, there's some good stuff here. This is nice. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna give this one here to uh, to Anne. Am I, I'm not supposed to look at it. I'm no, no, no. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna deck. I'm gonna put on her deck, and then Josh, I'm gonna give this one to you over here. Oh, you gave me some back my special reserve. Yeah, yes. I did, I did. <laughs> and then that's that's gonna go right back there. So, you know, I wanted to make sure I was taking care of y'all. Uh, I'm a, a nice gentleman. <laughs> so, you're so sweet. Uh, and so then I'm gonna I'm gonna buy some drinks. You know what? I'm gonna buy. I'm going to buy the wench a drink. She's looking thirsty. So I'm putting that underneath her special reserve card there. Correct. And then it's time for me to enjoy a frosty beverage. <laughs> I'm just going to I'm gonna have some wine. I'm classy. I'm Oh, so classy. I'm going to take some two alcohol there, and then, you know, I'm good. I'm good. good. I promise I'm good, guys. <laughs> 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 and then, Anne, it's going to be back to you. All right. I'm sorry, Molly. Molly. So the first thing I'm going to do is... Out come one of my mounts. Here, I'll let you. Brigitte the panther. Ooh, Ooh that's a good one. Uh, an oversized panther, tack and harnessed, with a leather saddle with green leaf and elf motifs, should have fancy, pretty pattern a la <laughs> LOTR elves on the saddle. <laughs> Lord of the Rings, for those of you that. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, so the rival is not out on the board. So no, the rival is okay Bernard there. the dog. Uh, my rival is not out, so I'm okay. Uh, Prajit is a sometimes mount, which is something we also discussed with Kisses. And the sometimes ability is ignore an action, sometimes, or anytime card that affects your fortitude. That is an excellent, excellent uh, ability. I Mr. like Panther. that very much. So, it's Sam, good. help me to clarify. If I bring out another mount, does, does that mean that just Elendril, because that was the first, is it first in, first out? Yes. Okay. A conveyor belt off the line. Molly operates by the FIFO methodology. <laughs> I know what I was thinking. <laughs> Are we talking FIFO, LIFO, average cost? 
cost, weighted average okay. cost. <laughs> no one to pe make people leave, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, accounting is fun. One, two, three, four, five, six. I currently have six cards in my hand, so I'm going to at least draw one new one. Unless you want to discard some cards to... Uh, Replace them. Yeah, replenish your hand. You know what? I don't... I don't. Right. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I'm gonna draw. All, All right. right. Okay. Anne has a strong stable at the moment. I do. I like that very much. I think we should do something about that. She's got some some drink drink defense, some punching defense. Chat said you should have uh, Warthog tell you. Warthog. 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 <laughs> Josh. Uh, tell you um, about his latest inventory audit if you think accounting <laughs> is fun. <laughs> I the wench drank it all. <laughs> Playtest managers. Shrinkage? You have shrinkage in your inventory. Yes. That's... Are you? Are, are we gambling? Yeah, now? I want to do it, guys. We're gambling. We're gambling. <laughs> Start a round of gambling. Each player, including you, must ante. So that means we all have to throw a gold piece into the pot. Yes. Okay. Oh, Anne is the current winner. So it'll go to John, and John can play a gambling or cheating card or pass. Passing doesn't mean he folds out of the game. So if he thinks Matt, oh, well. He's <laughs> Josh is raising. He's yeah, Josh. Josh is just going to go straight for the big stuff. Uh, you know what? I'm the owner of this fine establishment, and the house always wins. Okay. Take control of a round of gambling. This card beats Winning Hand and is not a cheating card. Ooh. You, you're raising again. Yes. Oh man, I'm getting I'm getting like flashbacks to the Tilted Table stream. <laughs> oh man. Um, uh, you're Molly probably gonna love this. On the first turn, and then suddenly someone has 16 more gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I thought this was my tip. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you may play, this is a sometimes, you may play this card at any time during a round of gambling. Even if you have left the round, you may not play this card if the round has already ended. Uh, the round ends, you get the anti gold. That's, that's someone, someone should nuke that with an I don't think so if we've got one. Uh, I made Matt spend that earlier. Man, this is, this is for you, I'm, man. I'm, I, I'm, I don't, I don't have one. Um... But, but, oh man. Okay. <laughs> Josh gets all the gold. Josh gets all the gold. I would like to point out that if Josh is eliminated, his gold will be split among the remaining players. After. So now you understand what the focus needs to be. <laughs> uh, I guess the house the doesn't always win. That was the end of my action phase? Yeah. That was gross. Thanks. Appreciate it. So I think you need so, to buy some drinks. So I need to buy some drinks. Uh, okay, here you go. Oh, you're playing something else. Yeah. That you was wanna, me You want to go ahead and exclaim that out loud? Yes. So I just threw a gold coin into the tavern. Oh, no, pot. I mean the name of the card. Wench! <laughs> <laughs> Bring me some drinks for my friends. Say okay with the girl voice. No. No. <laughs> 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 You'll notice that this picture is the new wench for the tavern. Ah. Uh, I was going to ask about that. That's your, that's your trainee. I gotcha. That's the trainee, exactly. Uh, so pay one gold to the inn, order two additional drinks. So you get to order three drinks here. Yes. So Matt's going to get two, no. and Josh is going to get one additional drink. So I have ordered three in toto. In toto. In toto. Um, so, Sam, the new drink is going to go on top of his other drinks, but under the special reserve drinks, correct? Correct. Okay. All right. You ready? It's time for you to drink some drinks. I'm really nervous. I know, what, I know what this one I is. I know. Uh, so, we've got some Dragon Breath Ale with a chaser. Oh. So four alcohol content and a chaser. Going. Wait. I'm using Kiss's ability. Reduce the alcohol content of a drink you are about to drink by two. So it's still two. And you absolutely so should. But wait, you should see what the next drink is. Because they combine we, into one drink. Oh, yeah, right. they combine. Uh, and then you got some Chieftain's Ice Beer. Oh, good lord. Ooh, for oh, uh, another there's four. Slight, uh, there's a slight typo. That's actually supposed to be a five in the tankard. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so that's five, not not four. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's nine. 
Thanks, Sam. I, I don't nine. like you at all. I, I like that you use a, a stronger drink to chase the first drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, I, the stable girl's really an alcoholic. <laughs> That's true. How do you think she deals with the animals all day? Yeah. <laughs> She's just drunk. She thinks she's making friends. She thinks she's talking to the animals, but she's just completely spaced out all day long. She's the one that got the ostrich from the zoo? Yeah. <laughs> That's because it was a stable hand. They know how to do the animals. Yeah. This makes sense. All right. Well, I hate you, first of all. So that's going to be nine in total. Uh, you can reduce that by two if you so yeah, desire. Yeah, I kisses. think I'm going to be doing that. Thanks. I'm sorry. What'd you say there, Sam? Do you have a sometimes card that could ignore it, maybe? <sighs> Sam, this is why I love. To I be hope around. not. <laughs> <laughs> the giggles that makes it even better. <laughs> if not, I would like to remind people that at the start of your turn, if you think something bad's going to happen to you, you can discard a lot of cards. <laughs> I only have one card. So. <laughs> uh, straight from the oh. horse's trough, change the effects of a drink to lose one fortitude. What? I don't think. That's quite good. So <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I don't think I don't, she's going to change this you five a, alcohol yeah. content drink here to just one fortitude. Oh, be a hater no, over there. A full nine alcohol content. Remember? It's oh, it, that's right. It's one, one drink. drink. And then you can yeah. reduce it by two with the. I'm gonna buy you a drink. Ooh. Oh no! It's just the entire thing is just lose one fortitude because you're yeah. not changing the alcohol yeah. content. So you yeah. just take one fortitude yeah. damage off that. Yeah. Wow, and, that's good. And and you know what? I um. I'm going to use Elendril's ability there. Uh, at the end of your turn, once per turn, you may discard two cards to gain one fortitude. So it's like nothing ever happened. I'm gonna, yeah, just, these two can go. You really are an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a lot more than that to get me drunk, Apparently. buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you. Murix Bob. Uh, a a reduction effect always bottoms out at zero. So okay. she wouldn't be able to sober. So it's my turn now? Uh, yeah, it would be your turn now, Josh. So you're going to draw up to seven cards, and uh, let's see what you got. Damn, I really thought that I had you there. And <laughs> I was hoping that next one would have been a chaser, too. That would have been really funny. No, that wouldn't have been funny. Well, no, it's actually better that for us Well, I mean, now, now it would have been. What, what do you mean? Uh, there's no us. Not you. I mean, there's me and no Josh. There's no we... <laughs> Because now, since it's split up, there's less of a chance you're going to be able to deal with it. Because you already used your ability to, uh, yeah, to deal with it the first time. How do you know I don't have another one of those cards? Because I don't. <laughs> Matt, trust me, after this sip, you'll want the whole bottle. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, so pick another player. They gain one alcohol content and add the top card of the Special Reserve drink deck to their Drink Me pile. Here you go, Matt. Oh, you hey, big old meanie. Oh, I mean, unless you ignore it. No, I don't think I will. I water him down. <laughs> Sam's right. Or you give it to the, the horses. I give it to the horses. <laughs> <laughs> no horses are really jacked up. <laughs> well, what was it in Harry Potter? All right, so that's the end of my action. I'm going to order a drink. Her horses only uh, drinks. Matt, you can have a... <sighs> Oh, how many drinks does Molly have? Molly only has two drinks Can you two leave me left. alone? I actually have a lot of drinks. <laughs> yeah, Matt does have a lot of drinks, so I'm going to get a drink for Molly. Are you? I'm, I'm buying you a drink. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> and now, Josh, it's time for you to drink up. Yep. I know what you got here, because I gave it to you. Uh, it's nice. I'm going to be here. Imported that's, rum with a chaser. That's what you gave him? Yeah. I'm you gonna... gave me nine, and you gave him one. No, no, one. no. I only gave you the top card. Josh gave you the second card. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, yep. he got some imported rum with a chaser, so it's one alcohol content and then a chaser. So your next one here is Rough Remedy. This is four alcohol content. If you gain alcohol content from this drink, you may discard up to three cards from your hand to gain four, uh, two fortitude for each card you discard in this way. Whoa! You could heal up. I could heal up, but that's four drink. That's five drink. Five yeah, drink. it's five in toto. Um... Also, Matt, uh, your uh, fortitude marker should be on 18. Yeah, you got like, got knocked off a little bit. What happened? Oh, 18? Yep. Okay. Yes. Um. Referee. <laughs> Her horses only drank oh. single malt whiskey. Oh, yes. Uh, I guess this drink's coming out of my pay. Oh. 
Uh, ignore a drink and pay one gold to the inn. This card uh, can be affected by I don't think so. So you're you're just not taking that drink. It's going to the inn. I just accidentally dropped it. Oops. Oopsie, Oopsie. Daisy. That would be something that you did. Yeah. Uh, so now it's going to go to my turn. I am going to discard. Oh man, I'm going to discard one card and then I'm going to draw three. One, two, three. Okay. Sound like the owl. Uh, uh, oh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> Someone playing Vosla? <laughs> um, gambling. I'm in. It's it's time to gamble, folks. So Annie up. <sighs> and it's on you. Look, what is it if I don't have any gambling cards? You can't uh, do you, anything. You, you say, I choose not to play one right now. <laughs> yeah, you, bl you bluff, because you're doing a great job of that I right now. choose not to play one right now. <laughs> you could say, I pass. I pass. For those of you watching in the stream, even though Anne passes, as long as Josh plays any card, Anne can still play a card later in the round. What did I miss while I was in the cellar? Oh, uh, you just avoid the round of gambling entirely. Oh, so, so I, yeah, uh, you should have played that in the beginning, so you wouldn't okay. have anteed up. Uh, and then I get to play a special reserve, and I'll give it to Matt. Why? Fine, <laughs> thank you. Thanks, Josh. All right. Well, so I think Matt, you just win the money because Dan is, didn't play a card, and Josh wasn't there. Yeah. I I just took a gold from Ann. I mean, that makes me feel better. Good, good. I'm happy. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna buy Josh a drink, or the you wench. Get a fancy drink for your trouble. <laughs> <sighs> I'm really excited to see what this is. Me too. I hope it's uh, terrible. The Elixir of what? Alacrity. So, two Ooh. alcohol content. If you revealed this card, keep it in front of you. During the next action phase, you may play an additional action. Discard this card at the end of your next action phase. Ooh, that's a neat oh. one. Ooh. Well, cool. I'm, I'm going to keep that. I like that. Thanks, Josh. Do you drink? Yeah, just, yeah, that's fine with me. Cool. 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 And it's your turn. All right. So, Elendral is going to be leaving me. Ah, but wait. Elendral is briefly around for the resolution of your next feast. So, Ooh. you will temporarily have four in play, and hopefully you don't reveal the nightmare. I do not. So, that is Zephyr, the Pegasus. Awesome. Uh, pick okay, another... so Elendral goes ahead and moves to the discard pile, okay. and then Zephyr enters the game. Pick another player, discard the top card of their Drink Me pile. Uh, if you do, discard the top card of your Drink Me pile. Ooh. So you should totally do it to me, so Matt still keeps his special reserve drink. <laughs> if you do it to Josh, he'll only have one drink remaining. You can, you can buy me a drink when you're done. But you kind of gave me nine points. No, I gave you four points. You kind of gave me nine points. And I gave you, I gave you none. You remember, you canceled that out. I knew you were gonna do that because I'm the I'm the, the tavern owner. I'm a nice guy. She knew all along. I saw that you had Maxi. See, Matt, I'm I'm surprised you haven't started telling stories yet. <sighs> Josh no, does have all the gold, but it was nine points. And he has, you're gonna get rid of a special reserve. But card. Josh does have all the gold. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, Josh is just mean. No, Josh is slightly more sober than I am, so he is technically beating me. So you want Matt to go out quicker? <sighs> no, I kind of want you to go out quicker because I'm going to be broke. Okay, we're going to take the top one off of Matt's because he's got a pile of nine. Oh, yes. Okay. And we're going to take the top one get off to of Matt's. to see what that was? Yeah, do we yeah, get to see, we, what we can see what we missed out on? Oh, the wench dares you. What is this? Ooh. Reveal two drinks uh, from the drink deck. If you reveal a drink event as one of the drinks, discard it and draw again. You drink the drink with the higher AC. Each other player drinks a copy of the other drink. If the drinks have the same AC, you choose which one to drink. Interesting. All right. It's a good one to dodge. And so, Anne, you're getting rid of the late harvest elven wine. Pay one gold to the inn and take three AC. I'm kind of okay with this because I'm broke. I mean, I'm not broke broke, but... You're broke as a joke. I'm broke as a good joke. Good job, Jeffrey. And so my so Pegasus goes into Just Got Here in my stable. Yeah. Okay. So I have one card. I'm going to draw six. One, two, 
three, four, five, six. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> six new cards. Oh, I kind of don't want to lose that one. Um. Hmm. Josh, you're going down. I mean... Oh. According to Chef. How are you doing over there, Anne? I don't, know why. <laughs> I don't think they realize that Anne only has, like, four gold. Oh. I mean... I mean, I'm just a nice guy. I don't want to kick got, people out of my bar. She's at five. Oh, all right. Uh, presenting the Fantastical Parade of the Mounts. You entertain the others. Each other player pays you one gold. But Molly is Vanna White previewing a parade of her mounts behind her. I'm Vanna Whiting. Yeah. That's what I do. I'm so good You're at that. You're doing a great job, Molly. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Is Vanna White it's here? Pretty. Vanna White I, I really love your dire mosquito. Thank it's you. really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it's what a collection of animals you have there. Uh, I think there was a request in chat to put your stacks of gold next to the player mats so that people can see, ah. see how bad off people are. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. Okay. Oh, so well, that nice. is the end of my action drink. So I'm going to order a drink for Josh. Gonna buy Josh a drink. <laughs> And then you're going to drink. I'm going to drink. See what you get. God be good. You got some dragon breath ale. Not with a chase. Oh, just man. some dragon breath ale. <laughs> so that's, you, you, that's I mean, four you AC. like dragon. Apparently, I, I do. However. However. <sighs> All right. Well, are you, I. Are you taking it I'm, like a champ? I'm taking it like a champ, but I'm using kisses, and I'm going to reduce that alcohol content to two. Uh, while you still got kisses around. While I still got kisses around. Right. And that discards kisses. Okay. Bye so bye now kisses. you have empty spot in your stable. Now I've got empty spot. Ooh, I do. Okay, uh, so that's the end of your turn, right? So what happens next round with my mount? Does the new mount come into the about to go slot, uh, or no, they just con they continue to conveyor belt? Okay. But for example, have you been able to spend kisses before making Elendral discard itself? Ah, uh, uh, that would have opened up a spot. Right? Okay, so I'm gonna discard two cards. It's my turn, Matt. Oh, it is. That's right. <laughs> I was I was <laughs> jumping the gun a little bit. I got excited. Um, what are you doing over there, wench? The wench. I'm discard one card. Okay, I'm nervous about him. I don't know how to feel. I don't. You look nine, nine alcohol content. You tried. To I gave you four. Thank you very much. You tried to put me in an alcoholic coma. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. That's. I'm not even. Um. Let's let's but, do some gambling. Oh boy. I'm in. Oh boy. Of course you are. Uh, did you ante up for me, please? Nah. Thank you. He's got short little T-Rex arms. He can't reach. <laughs> okay. That's over to me. Yep. I raise. Yes. Oh, wait. Go for the throat. Wait. I'm a little busy right now. <laughs> so uh, before Hands that, I'm out. Little... I'm out. Okay. Instead of anteing, you leave the round of games. Yes. Oh. Okay. All, right, All right. That's her one take back. So Josh has had to take back and Anne's had to take back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, using, I'm using my take back. Right. Takesy um, backsy. Matt, I'm, I'm still in. Well, I have the winning hand. Oh. Ooh. Meh, meh. <laughs> the only thing that beats a winning hand is a cheating card, or a card that beats a winning hand. Um, I can't win it, so. <gasps> oh, yes. sure, Matt. Money, 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 money. I like how he puts it like all the way yeah, over right here. Yeah, right in front of himself. Here's your pot, Matt. Good luck getting it. Oh, look, that's oh, evening out a little bit there, Richie <laughs> Rich. <laughs> Those are your cards. Uh, so now it's time for you to buy someone a drink. Look, your your money stacks I'll give are. I'll uh, uh, Molly. Yeah, Molly's getting a little low there. And time for you to drink a drink. So the wench is going to grab some mead, the old fa the old favorite. So 3 AC, if mead was not the result of a drink, event, or chaser, you may split it with another player. Round up. Ooh. Mead cannot be affected by any other card that splits a drink. Um, Matt, we'll, we'll split the mead together. 
Uh, I'll drink later. Story first. Or first a story. One of the two. You know. Okay. Oh, this is going to be your first story your event. First story. It's story time. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the entire history of Greyport? Gain one alcohol content. I could go on all night. Fiona says please don't. <laughs> I didn't... Please don't. So I, I ignored the drink, but I'm gonna gain one alcohol content anyway. So Josh is gonna take the full three value of that. Uh, two. two. He split. Oh, because I split it with you. Oh, okay. I just ignored the split. Yep. Yes. So, okay. But you ended up drinking the same amount. Yep. But sure well, we did. got a fun story out of yeah, it. Yeah, I, I got to give a story. That was good. Uh, that goes and here. You, and you only took one alcohol content instead of two, so you know that's something. Oh, that's true. That's true. Because it's split, rounded up, right? Yeah, so 1.5 to 2. Is that how yeah. that works? I know you're an accountant, so I had to make sure that you okay. know. Okay, uh, that's <laughs> the end of my turn. Okay, so I am going to draw four cards here. One, two, three, four. Now let's see what we have here. Um, first I'm going to play, good to see ya. Have a seat, enjoy yourself. I'm going to play that on uh, the wench. So you're going to lose one fortitude, and then it's time for story. Right. So first, you're, you're one fortitude. Story time. Did I ever tell you about the time I single-handedly fought off bandits Robin the tavern? <laughs> the others are riveted. <gasps> going to make riveted face. <gasps> Each other player pays you one gold. What? And no. they didn't get away with a single coin. And, uh, well, I had the Elixir of Alacrity. So, Josh, you, you get, get to have that action. back. I get another action. Uh, did Anne lose the Fortitude from the action card? I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, he had it at me. It was just one player. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Never mind. That's all right. Shh. Ignore me. Ignore the man behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let, then I'm going to play. Let's try some Dwarven Wrist Wrestling. So, Josh, uh... I'm going to say, watch me take on Molly. So, Molly, you're going to lose uh, two fortitude. Hold on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. See, I had you going there, Josh. You thought I was going to pick you again. Dang. Uh, if, if you want to mud wrestle with the stable girl, <laughs> go, go for it. <laughs> Doesn't I mean, sound that sounds weird like... at all. <laughs> uh, ignore an action sometimes or activity anytime card that affects your fortitude. I will be using... Prajit the Panther's ability. Oh, I forgot about that. It's cool. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I did, but. <laughs> okay. So no, no dwarven wrist wrestling. No dwarven you, wrist wrestling. My panther got very upset that you uh, approached me to wrist wrestle. I mean, you know. So I'm gonna buy some drinks. Um, Discard the panther. Molly's looking a little light right now, so I'm gonna buy you a drink, Molly. And uh, time for me to see what I have. Jason, my drink Jason, me pile Jason. here. So I got the Ale of Intrigue, two alcohol Ooh. content, and then draw two cards from your character deck. Uh, I'm going to play Playing with Drinks. That's my job. Ooh. What is that? Uh, add two alcohol content to a drink. This card can only be affected by I don't think so. That's so nice. Uh, he's going to get me extra drunk. <laughs> I, I mean, you can not do it, and then you don't get the two cards. Um... He's going to get you liquored up. You could just ignore it. This card could only be affected by an I don't think so, though. Yeah. Mm. So basically it means you can't uh, use Winch thinks you should stop playing with the drinks to stop the spike. Gotcha. Darn it. Okay. I had another story I thought I was going to have, but I guess not. So I'm going to take four alcohol content there, and I'm getting very drunk. So I'm to 11. And uh, I get to draw two, char two cards from my character deck. So that gets discarded here. Get myself two cards, and that is the end of my turn. You're a... Yeah, I know. I'm not doing too hot right now. You're looking now. a little shwasted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looking a little shwasted. Okay, so... Don't tell me who's looking <laughs> drunk. <laughs> 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 so, I... Throughout the past few couple of turns, I discarded my other two mounts, so we're just going to move my Pegasus down one to reveal... My next mount. And this is Bert the Donkey. 
Uh, Bert the Donkey, pick a player, they lose one fortitude. Players may reduce or ignore this fortitude loss as though it came from an action card. Awesome. Oh, God. So the donkey no. comes out and kicks Joshua. The wench. The, the, wench. the donkey kicked the wench. Yes. No. Oh. Why is the ass beating me up? <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> it's Bert. It's just one fortitude, right? Yeah, yeah. it's just one fortitude. Yep. It's just one. Just one. one, two, three, four, five, six. It's just one kick to the face. To, there's only one kick to the face. One little kick to the face. Oh, uh. Alrighty then. So, what are you doing next after Bert the Donkey comes to visit? After Bert the Donkey comes to visit, I am going to discard... No, I don't want to discard my actually I think I want to play that one. <sighs> I'm going to discard this one card and I'm going to draw three cards. One, two, three. Uh and then you're gonna skip your turn because you felt bad. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, it was worth a try. No, I'm going to... Let's see how that works out. Uh, watch out, flying horseshoe. I'm going to kick... Uh, horseshoe hits you in the head. Ah. Uh, well, we dwarves are hardy folk. So. Oh, this is interesting because I have a mount icon and you have a story icon story in your time. card. Story time. Story so, time. Story time is always first. Story time is always first? Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's that's just how it always is. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Did I ever tell you about my latest inventory audit? <laughs> <laughs> that was really loud. I'm so sorry. But that was really funny. The, the subtext here is Stop. nobody cares. Oh my no God. additional effects. <laughs> bah, you adventurers wait. just don't appreciate the, fin the finer points of I business. Do. Are we talking lipo or fifo? How do you account for the shrinkage in your barrels? <laughs> This is what I'm really curious. That's a personal question, Les. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's so good. All right. So now I'm going to resolve. So good. I'm going to resolve my stable. Uh, you don't no, that card gets ignored, so she doesn't get the stable card. Uh, she still gets the beast. Or, sorry, the mount. So the okay. mount happens regardless. As long I as like how you're jumping to tell me no all the time. No, I can't ignore the nine points. No, I can't take my horse out of the stable. You get a whole lot of no's. Chat, we told you the reason why Matt's playing the character he's playing. Yeah, so, there's a reason. So You got good. Snookums, the giant eagle. Oh, good. Uh, is, the, is Philip the giant groundhog in play? No, he's no. not. So your hand size is increased by one. Subtext? Ooh. Clever girl. Clever girl. There so you go. say hi to Snookums. Do I get to draw an additional card now, or that comes into play next turn? Next turn. Okay. I got excited. I thought just maybe. Did you get so excited that you just can't hide it? So excited. <laughs> and you just can't hide it. So uh, who are you buying a drink? <laughs> you don't want to get hit. <laughs> I think so. I, I would like to point out that the wench only has two drinks left. How many drinks do you have, Matt? But you have the opportunity like to buy me answer. a drink. The same, but there's going to be more opportunities to buy me a drink, and I'm sure Josh is going to wind up giving me one of his special brews. I hate you both equally, though. <laughs> <laughs> you want to catch up, Josh, to my level of drunkenness. Look, if there's one thing that I've learned about playing board games with you... It's that you don't listen to the words that come out of Matthew's mouth. Is it that I'm Unless a nice storyteller? Sto <laughs> yeah, those ones I'll listen to. <laughs> um, we're going to buy Josh a drink. going to buy Josh a drink. Oh, God, i got to stop that. And it's time for you to drink a drink, Anne. Oh, Molly. Molly, what do you have? you got some light ale. Just one alcohol. Oh, that's content. good. You're that's fine. good. I'm fine. Just a little I sip. I can take that. I can do that. It's refreshing. No, nope, yes. that, that goes over here. Uh, so now, Josh, it is your turn. I'm sorry. The wench. It is your turn. Discarding two cards. Daphne, never trust Matt on an island. There you go. This is what I've learned. All right. So what is the action that you have in store for us now? So if I don't have an action card, I just skip that? Correct. And even if you do have an action card, you could just skip it. Okay. So the wench is taking a break? 
I mean, she's been handing out a lot of drinks. There's yeah. been like what, eight of them going out so far this game. What do I pay you for there, wench? <laughs> <laughs> it's the delayed laugh because yeah. he's thinking it real could, hard. Can you he's smell not paying it? attention. Uh, you can, you can right. hear the gears grinding. <laughs> um, I had to go digging, but I found a special request you ordered. Ooh. So what does that mean? Oh, you're gonna get you're gonna just give someone a yeah. It's an anytime. Okay. Uh, there you go. There you go, Molly. Ooh. But uh, I had to go dig it again, and uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's for the uh, the bar owner there. Thanks, there, wench. I really appreciate it. <laughs> You're having fun with this I now. Am. I am. <laughs> All right, I will order uh, order the bartender or the owner a drink. Oh man, you're being so nice to me. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to give you a bonus this year. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of that. And I'm going to drink my drink. Oh yeah, you get to drink your drink. That's the important part. Ooh, so we got some halfling stout plus a chaser. So you're gonna take two alcohol content plus a chaser, and Ooh. your chaser is a dark ale. So it's a total of three alcohol content for you there, Josh. So good. Um, sorry, I have to take these drinks to that table. What? <sighs> Ignore a drink or uh, skip, avoid a round of gambling. Uh, Matt, you can have another special reserve. Oh come on! Unless <laughs> someone negates this card. Um, I can't. Can you, Anne? Can I what? Ig negate the card. Why do I need to? <laughs> <laughs> what? If you we take you me. out, we split your money. <laughs> oh, oh, I see how it is. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Super. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm going to discard two cards here. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to draw three. One, two, three. Hmm. Oh, you, so you take the three alcohol content. No, I right. ignore. Uh, no, that, that was an ignore. That was an ignore. Yeah, ignore a drink. Oh, that's right. Okay. Oh man. Well, if you canceled it, then I would, I would get the alcohol content. But no one canceled it. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. I think let's try some dwarven wrist wrestling. Again? Yeah, I, I really want to arm wrestle. Uh, you're looking pretty fortuitous there, Molly, so I'm going to pick you. Also, because I know Josh has a lot of sometimes cards in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the guy who didn't play any actions probably has a lot of sometimes cards? <laughs> Imagine that. I've read a couple of Encyclopedia Brown books in my time. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I'll take the two. Okay. No story, unfortunately. No story. So you're going to take two. I'm going to buy some drinks. Uh, I'm going to buy one here for Molly. <laughs> and then... Is that because I won? Yeah. And I don't like you. So now <laughs> time to drink some drinks. Uh, some enchanted <laughs> ale. Effects that would ignore this drink instead reduce the AC... Uh, effects that would ignore this drink instead reduce its AC by two. So I can only get down to one alcohol content. Uh... Oh, you can play two ignores and zero it out. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to say not now. I'm off to greet other guests. So that is ignore a drink, but it's just going to make it down to one yeah. alcohol content there. So. Do you have a second one? Uh, I do not. Okay. Or at least I don't want to play one. I'm going to go with that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be the end of my turn there. Okay. So, we're so you have a new stable come out? They don't shoot yet. Oh, that's right. But, th I mean, it doesn't really... Oh, maybe it does matter. So <gasps> Pookie! I got Pookie. Oh, no. <laughs> Each player, including you, loses one fortitude. Players may reduce or ignore this fortitude cost as it is as it came from an action card. But oh. first, there's a rival effect. Ooh, Ever rival. discard all other mounts. That means my hand size. Man! Oh, no. Uh, so Josh is going to lose a fortitude there. Yeah. And I'm going to play, we dwarves are hardy folk. So I'm going to ignore uh, an action card, which is going to be what that's classified as. Uh, that affects your fortitude or alcohol content. And it's time for a story. Okay. Did I ever tell you about the time there was an explosion in the kitchen? <laughs> I demonstrate a little too well. Pick another player. They lose two fortitude. Uh, wench! You're helping me reenact this. You're going to lose <laughs> two fortitude. 
And then, unfortunately, I'm also going to lose one fortitude. Um, can I play it ignore an action? Or uh, is that considered an action card or not? sometimes card that's affecting your fortitude. Yeah, yes. sometimes, yeah. Spend enough time in the tavern and you learn a, th a trick or two. He's got all the sometimes cards. Yeah. He definitely stacked his deck. Uh, so <laughs> this is ignore an action sometimes or any time card that affects your fortitude or alcohol content. What are the, uh, the stories actually classified as? Uh, the stories are attached to the card that played them. So they gain the type of that. Ah, okay, gotcha. Because it's the simplest, most sane way to do it. <laughs> so it's a sometimes, and that's... So since the card is ignored, do I not lose the fortitude as well? Um, no, your card still resolves. So yeah. when a player ignores another card, they themselves treat it as though okay. it were... It okay. still resolves the way it says for everyone else. So, so what I'm going to lose the fortitude, which I think... Did you do that already or not? No. Okay. Did you drop mine? And I put it back. Oh, you put it back. There was silveryware everywhere. Silveryware? Silveryware. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> it was everywhere. So that's not our uh, wrong deck. There you go. I know, Joshua. Oh, wow. uh, so that's yours. There's Pookie. There's my card there. Oh, Pookie stays in play. Yeah, there you go. All right. Whew. I'm not doing too hot over here. So what happens if I have Pookie in my stable and another mount comes out? That was uh, rivalry, rival rivalry effects only trigger when they are initially revealed. Okay. There so is. so Pookie's had his full, if you will. <laughs> he's he, he's eaten everything else and now he's done. He's full and he's passed out in a corner. Nom 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 nom. All right. And rest of your turn. Did you drink? My turn. Yeah, that was your turn. Was you your drew yeah, just out. Oh, that, that was all because of I. Yeah, that was all because that of Pookie. Was Pookie. Three, four, five, blame six. Pookie. Oh wow! And you were bemoaning like not having an increased hand size now. I know. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like the order of events. She's she's always bemoaning something. Something like that. Okay. I'm really drunk right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to get rid of. Oh! Oh, she's excited about something. Ah! You're like, oh, but but if I play that card, then oh, I have I have a card that I could have used for a do-over. Too late. It's too late. I already used my one do-over. And I think you want that card for later. Okay, I'll use that card for later then. Or you could discard it and just not worry about it. I don't. I don't know. Okay. All right. I'm discarding this card. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, uh. seven. <laughs> uh, that's fine. I have two of those. Okay. We're going to do that. Don't feed the animals. Uh, pick another player. They lose one fortitude, and then you're going to draw a stable card. Oh. Not... Me, All right, please. we're going to hit the wench. <laughs> Yay! So you lose a fortitude, and now let's get a new stable card out there. We got Bernard the Riding Dog. He looks so pretty. Yeah. Each player, including you, gains two alcohol content. Players may reduce or ignore the alcohol content as though it came from an action card. Oh, no. Aww. <laughs> you got me by two. Uh. He's a party on four legs. I'm so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Warthor needs to enter panic mode. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I didn't decide whether or not... I did no decide. <laughs> did not decide. No, I'm going to play that. Now, play now, that. take it easy. Negate amounts immediate or rival effect, not both. Oh, if you negate it, then no one else will lose. Oh, uh, nope. I'm out. okay. One, two. Yeah, we'll keep that in my hand. <laughs> this is the one I was thinking about using for Pookie. But uh. now, now, okay. I'm all right with this. Okay, so I played my action card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, <clears throat> which is what, how I got that. Now I'm going to order a drink for the wench. Yeah, probably a wise choice, considering I'm going to be... Knocked out. Dead. Soon. And here we go. Special reserves. You got some aged dwarven fire water. 
So, uh, during Special Reserve, if you reveal this card, keep it in front of you. While this card is in front of you, it counts as an action card. That says each other player pays you one gold. Ooh. And you're going to take three alcohol content. I'm okay that. with that. One, two, three. Okay. Ooh. Getting a little tipsy. Everyone's <laughs> rushing to the end. Everybody <laughs> in the tavern the getting tipsy. So, do I have to wait another turn? Because it says while the card is in front of you. It's an action. It is an action. So you turn. can only play it dirt as an action. Oh, so this would take up my action for next turn? Correct. No. If you just... choose to play. If I choose oh, to I use that. Want... No. Okay, no, I'm <laughs> going to. That's... Uh... Uh, what are you playing? One, two, three. Straight from the horse's trough. Change the effects of a drink to lose one fortitude. Yep, I'm okay with that. Okay. So that gets rid of the extra text of the card as well then, Sam? Yes. Correct. Okay. Oh, that's Josh's. So the it's wench, a, what are you up to? I discarded a card. I drew up to seven. Okay. And now you're going to hurt Molly, please. No, you're dead. You're out, and Josh and I are splitting I'm going to get points. the special reserve drink, which is probably going to put me over the edge anyways. No, because with your luck, it's going to be like, oh, this is the magic sober up drink, and you get all of your alcohol content taken care of. I doubt it. It's like straight black coffee. Trust me, after one sip, you'll want the whole bottle. Uh, pick another player. They gain one alcohol content and add the top card of the special reserve drink deck to their drink me pile. Here you go, Molly. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So Molly's going to take one alcohol content. So you get a little drunker, and you get the uh, special reserves. Fancy. All right, so Josh, you get to buy someone a drink. Um, Unless you got some other stuff to play. I will buy Molly a drink. Okay. Going to buy Molly a drink. You just want to keep Matt, or what? Matt, I think Matt's going to go out himself. And then you've like got some turn. elven wine there, Josh. That's going to be a three alcohol content. I think Ooh. he's going to take it to someone else's table right now. This wench just giving away all my booze. Um, I'll get another. This tankard is filthy. Oh, you're the one that's in charge of cleaning it. <laughs> no, no, I bring the drinks. I don't clean the glasses. <sighs> oh, ignore a drink and add the top card of the drink deck to your drink me pile. Okay, so you get to ignore that and then add this to your drink me pile. Yep. Okay. So that goes there. That goes there. My turn. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Yeah, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, boy. I'm oh, going to discard my entire hand. Someone <laughs> needs some defense. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of these days, Warthorn will ignore a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. Uh, Okay. Okay, hold on. I just got to take some inventory here. So if you want to riff a little bit right now while I'm trying to figure out what I've got going for me. Um, that's trying not to pass out drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly what's, what's happening. happening. We both have taken more fortitude hits than him. Yeah, he's got the fortitude. He's just, he's a uh, wash. Well, that's very yeah. dwarf. Like, for a dwarf, <laughs> that's very uh, apropos. Yes. And you notice how the stories have come out more and more. The more he's drunk. <laughs> the more he's drunk. <laughs> oh boy. They've been getting more violent too. <sighs> yeah, that's that's accurate. All right, Sam. So you <laughs> were on you were on earlier this week with one of our tabletop gaming network buddies, Tilted Tabletop. Yes. Who did you you played as? I was Molly the Stable Hand, actually. <sighs> Team Molly. How do you like them apples? <laughs> okay. I think I'm ready here. Okay. What's your action card? No feet on the table. Pick another player. They lose three fortitude. I am Ooh. going to use that on Molly. Ooh. No. We don't think so. Uh, Wait, so negate a some a sometimes card. He played an action card. Yeah, that's an action card. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. All right. One, two, three. Ooh, I'm not liking it uh, at all. I'm going to play Bottoms Up. There's always more where that came from. Pick another player. They drink the top card of their drink me pile. Molly. Ooh. Oh, he's trying to go for the elimination right now. <laughs> he's trying. Oh, 24-hour energy brew. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Discard three cards from your hand and then draw three cards from your character deck. You've been trying so hard all game to get me out. So hard. She just popped out a monster map. <laughs> so, and you're going to discard three. Oh. Oh, that makes me so upset. So good. Oh, I love it so much. Um, uh, one, track. two. That's fine. Three. <laughs> One, two, three. Uh, tip the wench. Wench, tip the wench. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's funny. <laughs> Go ahead. No, no, you have to, you you have have to, to pay it. gold to the inn. You have to do it, Josh. You don't just get to say no. No, it oh, goes to the, the inn. Um, you know what? He's going to negate it. Why, thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you get the gold instead. <laughs> <laughs> what are you <laughs> doing? Party foul. Oh my goodness! So I made you don't don't tip shake his character yourself. card too much. He's gonna die. Do you remember where he was at? Yeah, he was there. He was at fourteen. Okay, yeah. Sam's paying attention. And Wentz was at eight. Fortunately, the you know I've got this. The so wait, up. that's all the. Uh, you quickly got rid of my energy drink. I don't understand why. Oh, that's 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 all that happens. Uh, that's all that happens. Okay. Uh, so now I'm ordering drinks, and I'm going to play Here's a Story While We Wait for the Drinks to Arrive. So, story time, guys. And I'm going to be ordering uh, an extra two drinks during the drink ordering phase here. But first, a story. Did I ever tell you about the time I helped defeat Mordegar, the Mad Dragon? The celebration gets a little rowdy. Woo! Get rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> Each other player loses one fortitude. Ooh. And the battle for Greyport was won that day. Um, I don't think so. Oh, come on. But that's yep. just his, right? Yep. Oh, uh, no, yeah. that negates the whole card. Oh. oh. Negate a sometimes oh. card. That card could only be affected by another. I don't think so. You don't like my stories, wench. <laughs> no story and no extra drinks. See, he, you didn't get him excited and celebrated enough. High five. It was a good attempt. It was a nice attempt. I'm nice going to buy you a drink, wench. And then I'm going to drink a drink. You were gonna... trying so hard. He really did. <laughs> he did. Okay. I put it, put it in the camera <laughs> server. It's I got wizard's wine. It's two alcohol content, but two fortitude. Well, uh, re reveal the top, or Reveal two cards of your character deck. Put one of those cards into your hand and discard the other. So get to look at the top two cards of my character deck. Discard that one, and I'm going to keep this one. Okay. <laughs> I live to drink uh, another day. My card, man. <laughs> that is your card. <laughs> Go ahead, Molly. I'm so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> You're almost at full fortitude, though. <laughs> I'm healthy. <laughs> I'm just really drunk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to discard that one. Hmm. Uh, you, you. Oh yeah. Sorry, I start my first. stable first. Okay. So you got Brock, the Elder Chicken. Oh! oh. Pick a player. They lose three fortitude. Players may reduce or ignore this fortitude loss as though it came from an action card. Go bite the bar owner. No, don't bite the bar owner. We That's already said nice. that he was gonna bite you. The Elder Chicken was gonna bite you. Nice helmet, dimly. Stare de too. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore an action or sometimes or any time card that affects your fortitude. You That's not an action of sometimes or an any time yep. card. Ignore uh, players may choose oh. reduce or ignore the fortitude as though it, it came from for an action, action card. card. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, fine. I live to drink another day. <laughs> no chickens getting the best of me. So you're a hearty helmet. Uh, it's sturdy helmet too. <laughs> <laughs> I just it's a it's a giant chicken. And I'm like a dwarf, so I've got this really nice helmet on, and he goes to peck at the top of my <laughs> head. Is there like a little feather coming out dong, or something? Dong, 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 dong. <laughs> uh, I am going to discard... I'm going to discard these two... One. I'm going to discard this one. One, two, three, four, <laughs> Warthorn's five, Warthorn's going to kill six. the chicken and fry it to serve. <laughs> That'd be so good. <laughs> I've had bigger chickens than that for dinner. 
<laughs> that that's a great comic comment right there. Oh, this is not fun. Oh man. Okay, we're gonna play that. You're one. playing this. Yeah. Don't feed the animals. So uh, pick another player. They lose a one fortitude. Matt. Why? I'm so close to you, death. You literally ch tried to murder me three times this game. <laughs> I really don't think. So you're going to draw another stable card. Yes. So Pookie goes away. First we draw the stable oh. card. Oh, that's right. Because, well, yeah. Because I mean, nothing works. rivals Pookie. Oh. Uh, Pookie's your, your new mount is a passed out adventurer. <laughs> <laughs> Gain one gold from the inn. That's so good. That's oh, so God. Good. So you, you've you got a gold. passed out drunk. Which soon enough will be me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So who are you ordering a drink? I don't think there's a point of ordering me a drink. <sighs> ordering Josh a drink, the wench. The wench, and then Molly, it's time for you to drink a drink. You've got some fermented orc sweat. Doesn't that sound <laughs> yummy? Minus three fortitude. If fermented orc sweat uh, was not the result of a drink event or chaser, you may split it with another player. Uh, fermented orcs f sweat Wait. cannot be affected by any other card that splits a drink. You can split it with Matt, and he'll be out. But you would be dangerously close to... Yeah. I mean, you can split it and still ignore your half. Yeah. But, <laughs> but do you split it with the winch? Or do you split it with Orth? <sighs> I promise I'll be nice to your stable guy. <laughs> Who are you splitting Matt, with? I'm splitting it with Matt. No, don't kill me. I want to tell more stories. <laughs> uh, sorry, I let the, I let this. Wait. No, you, you ignored. Oh, it. I ignored it. That's right. You ignored it. <laughs> I let this old girl get a little out of hand. Ignore a drink. Pay one gold to the inn. Uh, the wench thinks you should stop playing with the drinks. Oh. So, uh, negate like a sometimes spikes. card that changes the effects of a drink. Matt, can you move the cards real quick to chat? Oh, we don't think so. There you go. Oh. So, Anne, you're going to ignore that, or Molly, you're going to ignore that. I'm going to conk out. The bar owner is going to nice, pretend was... to go up to his room for the evening. <laughs> really, he just he fell asleep in, in the lobby. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the gold is split in half. So Matt ended the game with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven gold. All right, so six gold goes to the tavern. One, two, three, four, five, six goes to the tavern. Yep. The okay. remaining gold is split as evenly as possible with the remaining players. Cool. So two will go to Anne and two will go to Josh. And Where then the remaining piece of gold will go to the tavern. Because remember, the tavern always wins. So it's still going back to my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> was a nice try. One, two, three, four. Oh, geez. All right, so that's the end of your turn? That and is the end of my turn. Turns, uh, drinks go back into the discard pile. Yeah. And he I... gets to go, ooh, if only I had drunk again, it would be a holy water or something like that. <laughs> no, I had nothing good coming up. Well, I mean, they were just a uh, AC1s. Oh, okay. You got baby drinks after that. Well, the bottom one was uh, fire water shots. Each player gets a drink with the effect of gain two AC, as though they revealed it from their drink deck. Yeah, that's a that's a spicy one right there. But alas, I'm drunk. That's when the stories Ooh. get real good. Yeah. So, so you are now that, my uh, passed out adventurer. I am, and it is your turn, right? It is Josh's. Oh, it's Josh's. Josh's turn. Oh. oh, did I drink yet? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you that split that turn. one with me. Yeah. That's what it was. Okay, so Josh, it is your turn. So Josh, it looks like um, you're discarding your cards now, or yeah, I discarded. I'm drawn now. I just drew a toast to the Red Dragon Inn. Oh, thank you, Wench. <laughs> I appreciate it. A toast to the Red Dragon Inn. Oh, sorry, I... I'm sorry about this mess. This is the one in my house. That's the card I, I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, I'm sorry about this mess. This one is on the house. Pick another player. They lose one fortitude. Discard the top card of their drink me pile and add the top card of the special reserve drink to their drink me pile. Wait. And you're playing. The wench thinks you should stop playing. That's with an action drinks. card. Wait. That's but no, it's not affecting a drink. It's not yeah. ch changing the what a All drink right, yeah, is. Yeah. Uh, so you're gonna lose one fortitude. Yeah. And then you are going to discard the top card of your drink me deck. 
and you're gonna get the top special reserve card there. So you're getting the good stuff. Wench, who are you buying a drink for? Himself. Um, He's gonna buy himself a drink. You never know. Maybe he does. <clears throat> now I'll buy a drink for Molly. Molly is gonna get a drink, and then Wench, you're looking a little thirsty there. Let's see what you get. Something Ooh, good. Elven wine with a chaser. <gasps> Three oh. alcohol content with a chaser. Chaser is. is. Oh, dwarven fire water. Yes. So good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that's seven in toto. That went south real quick. Can he do it? Yes, I'm sure oh, he, he can. Oh, he looks upset right now. He looks so upset. I'm not looking because I was going to feel. Oh no. I can't do anything. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Are there any anytime cards you can play before you go out? Um. No. Uh oh. Oh no. Nope. Yeah, I have ignored an event. That's all I can do. Four. Five. <laughs> six. Seven. The wench passed out drunk. The stable hand is the only one still alive. <laughs> that was a major upset right there. That was. Oh, yeah. Wow. I had already resigned on the inside to being dead. <laughs> Aren't you happy that I bought a bunch of drinks before I'm I died? I'm so happy. What, what was the card she discarded? What do you mean? The one I had her discard off the top of her pile. Oh, oh. Um, it was... I don't know. Where did I put it? Oh, I put it on top of here. It was light out. <laughs> oh, no, no. It was... You put it back in her deck if you put it there. Oh, it was an event. Oh, it was the yeah, drinking contest. What's the next one? Just <laughs> curious what would have happened if I Water. Played. Ah. Yeah, she would have won still. The Toast to the Red Dragon he makes us all drink, and I would have passed out drunk. I wonder if we both would have... Oh, passed out at the we, same time. Yeah. Can we talk about how you guys have tried so hard <laughs> to try and kill me, but the game has just kept me alive? Like, you're even like, okay, but well, what if I had done it this way? Water. <laughs> like, the game has slapped you two in the face. <laughs> so I was just trying to be a nice bar owner. <laughs> the wench dies of alcohol poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Congratulations, Molly. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And now everyone's going to be like, oh, Molly's broken because she won both of the, t of the Twitch streams. <laughs> <laughs> Team Molly, man. Oh, Team man. Molly. Uh, this was absolutely great. This was absolutely great. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm. Are you reveling in the, <clears throat> I, I, I kind of want to rematch with you. I know that you do, just so I can get more energy drinks and water. <laughs> oh, I'm very upset about the energy drink. So, yeah. Sam, talk to me a little bit. You were you were on our fellow Twitch streamer, uh, our team partner, Tilda Tabletop, playing this game. You got to play as Molly. How did that game go for you as compared to what's happened in my game? Obviously, Team Molly won. Well, the, the drinks were a lot kinder. <laughs> <laughs> you did not get a nine alcohol contact drink? <laughs> Uh, but I, I had started the round of gambling at the start of the game and then watched four gold go away. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad and put me in a bit of a panic mode. Um, it, it ended up getting down to uh, me versus Jasper at the end. And both of us were getting by by the skin of our teeth for about three more turns. We each got about three more turns after we had eliminated the third player. Ooh. And it was just like, and now I drink and I'm probably going to die and holy water. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> and now I drink and I'm probably going to die and coffee. Yay! So good. <laughs> so good. We, we seem so. to have the opposite problem. Have a drink, we're probably going to die. Yep, it is four alcohol content and a chaser. <laughs> this is so good. It's the strongest drink the bar has. Give me that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, let's talk a little bit about the Kickstarter, which is live now, but ending soon. So guys, make sure that if you are watching this stream to go and back RDI 7, you can see just how much fun we had playing it tonight. Uh, you guys are doing something a little bit different, which we were talking about a bit before the stream. You're doing an eco-friendly box option. Yes. Can you talk to us a little bit about the thought process behind offering the eco-friendly box? Uh, sure. So uh, back, uh, back, uh, I want to say in 2013, 14 maybe, uh, we ran a Kickstarter campaign for the Red Dragon in 5, which was putting it into a giant storage box uh, because we got a lot of requests for that sort of thing because it was the 
thing that everyone was doing. Zombie Side did a giant storage box. Uh, Smash Up did a giant storage box, etc. So uh, we were like, well, I mean, sure, we'll try it, and if it if it funds, then we'll do it. So all copies of Dragon in Five are in this massive box for keeping everything. Um, that because that box now exists. Future sets don't necessarily have to come with a box or plastic insert or any of that stuff. So uh, for re when we did Red Dragon in Six's Kickstarter, we offered a, a couple of pledge levels where you could get the game in a very streamlined box. Uh, there's a picture of, of it up on the um, uh, Red Dragon in Seven Kickstarter. It's just a plain white, uh, thin, corrugated cardboard box that doesn't have any branding on it other than a sticker that says what it is and then and doesn't have the plastic vacuum formed insert or any of that stuff so it's basically a thing that you can take gut and take all of the stuff out of and then immediately freely recycle um and i mean red dragon in five made that a possibility and we're like hey let's because we do these kickstarters uh we can we can actually tailor specific products that would not be normally available through retail that's that would be useful direct to the consumer oh yeah i mean you're getting the, you're able to with kickstarter decide okay well i'm these many people are going to order the eco-friendly box so i'm going to produce these many eco-friendly boxes or you know and these people are want the boxes with the nice artwork if you were going retail you'd have to kind of try and figure out beforehand with some market research okay well yeah. we're going to produce x amount of eco-friendly as compared to this artwork and then that you're able to be even more eco-friendly because you're not wasting producing these eco-friendly yeah. boxes that may not be sold. Yes. All and, over and something like a box. The, the, the other special sauce is that, like, you know, we always manufacture slightly more than we need. Yeah. And, and but uh, we, we send, like, a case of this stuff over to um, uh, our third, in, third employee, Jen, who, who handles all of our part replacement stuff. Mm -hmm. So if people, you know, crack open a set and they're missing a part or, you know, something tragic happens, uh, we can usually, like, su provide substitute cards and that sort of thing. Oops. And we'd send her a case and then she'd crack it all open and then have to get rid of all these boxes afterwards. Well, now she just <sighs> gets the excess Kickstarter product. Yeah. And does that, and it's usually enough to... Keep satisfy her, those uh, spares with uh, replacement parts for like uh, we're, we're still going through red dragon and six um, leftovers so that's that's um, really cool i know we played a game uh, a couple of geez months ago now stone days where the publishers their big thing was talking about making their components as uh eco-friendly as possible and it's so nice to kind of see the industry make a move to being uh conscientious about what we're making here I, I don't know if it's necessarily the industry doing it. Um, I think uh, Jamie, Jamie Stonemeyer on his blog uh, like flagged Red Dragon in 6 as like the first time he's ever seen a company using Kickstarter in that way. Yeah. Um, and, and a big part of it is just like, you know, the, the, the opportunity to... We're, we're already making the components, so it's just whether or not it goes into a fancy box or a boring box. <laughs> And it makes so much sense for this game since everything yeah. can be played together. It's it's really just expansions on one big expandable game. Yes. So to put it all in one box makes it so convenient for the player because you just bring out your one box with all of your different characters to play the game. So we have the kind of slimmed down version. And on the other side, you guys have a collector's edition? Yes. So the collector's edition comes with additional fun stuff. Uh, there's a, uh, chur a, um, a Dragon's Breath Ale metal enameled churn marker, which is, <laughs> um, and it's, it's currently on its way over, so I don't have a picture of it, but. Well, um, there's a picture I, on I, the Kickstarter. There, there's a picture of the render on the Kickstarter. Yeah. Um, uh, but that's not the same as, like, the actual The actual piece. thing? Yeah. Uh, I figured but... you'd agree with that. So we've got that. We 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 put in a bunch of like um, other things. So there's the coasters from our organized play program are in there because we realize that they're a very popular item. They're really uh, pretty. I saw those swag, and 
Uh, not everyone has a, a place they can go to play a Red Dragon in tournament. Um, and we've also brought in some of the older uh, promo cards that are harder to get because we also realize that, like, so we never wanted the promos to be this thing that, like, people absolutely need to complete the set. Um, they're more to be like, here you go, because you happen to be at the right place at the right time. They're not game critical. And and they tend to be a little bit uh, like turn to 11 on the wacky scale with the things that they do. Um, and so we brought some of those back in for that set. Um, and if you get the version that has a box, it has uh, alternate artwork box and all that fun stuff. Um, over Over the last few Kickstarters, we've been gearing ourselves more towards a streamlined approach to it where we use we don't use kickstarter to i mean for this last campaign we're not using kickstarter as a way to um generate more value in the product we're so so we're not doing stretch goals instead we were like we're just going to include all of the stretch goals that we would have been including and they're just in it because we're pretty sure that it'll fund right and we're making a better product from the get-go and now we're using it as a way to uh, let uh, people who want to have a, a special collector's edition, they can have that. People who want to have an, uh, an, an eco version can have that. And, and a lot of our fans are on Kickstarter already anyway. Right. Talk to me a little bit. Um, we talk about it being an expandable game, we, and you mentioned tournaments, and that kind of caught my ear. Let's say I'm new to this game. I've never played. I want to figure out how to play this game that everybody really loves and has got all these new additions. Can I find tournament groups? Can I find play groups? How does that, how does that work? Um, I would start off by contacting your friendly local game store. I mean, we did, we're, not, we're not sophisticated enough to like have a, a, a tournament organizer uh, map like Wizards of the Coast would have. Um, our, ours are a little more like, hey, we're going to have fun here. Uh, so you can come to any of the conventions that we go to. So we're going to be at Origins. We're going to be at Gen Con. We're at the Gamma Trade Show, but that's uh, more of an industry, industry convention rather than a public convention. Um, uh, we'll probably do PAX Unplugged again. And uh, we might try some other stuff here and there. So we'll definitely be at the like the major conventions across the U.S. Um, you can always just come by our booth because we have eight or more tables where we just run demos and you play a full game. Um, we you can uh, find us on uh, on online. We do uh, all of our play testing digitally now. So uh, using the uh, tabletop simulator program that you can get on Steam. Uh, we have a Discord channel. You can get links to the sign-up sheet for our uh, playtesting server on online. Basically, you just need to have a mic and tabletop simulator and a reliable internet connection, and then you can play with us and try out these new characters. We have Red Dragon N7 still getting a little bit of tweaks here and there, but we also have brand new stuff that's also coming out this year that isn't um, part of the Red Dragon N7 campaign or anything like that. So talk to me. I want to hit two points with you from this. One, uh, you mentioned all of the really great conventions that you're going to be at. And I don't think that board game enthusiasts are as aware um, of how, like, the the volunteer structure works. And not necessarily, like, volunteer, but, like, helpers. Um, people who come and they're enthusiasts about a game and they're just looking for some time to that, that a company will give them. They're, they, they love Red Dragon Inn. They want to share that with other people at the convention and Slugfest would help coordinate that helper. So do you guys have an official helper program? Are you looking for helpers at conventions? It is the uh, Slug Crew program. You can go there on our website. Um, it's our official volunteer program uh, by running events at your friendly local game store, um, at your game group, at other conventions. You earn points that get you cool promo cards and as well as preview character decks at full uh, like production quality. Um, that's called our Slug Crew program. We also reach out for volunteers at uh, the larger conventions like Origins and Gen Con on our Facebook page, uh, uh, facebook.com slash slugfestgames. Uh, you can actually sign up 
for Gen Con and Origins support right now. Uh, the, the requirements are pretty straightforward. I think it's, uh, let me, let me look before I make promises. <laughs> No, you know, every convention that you go to, you're looking around, you, you, there, you, it's a great place for enthusiasts to, enthusiasts to meet up and share their love for board games, and I don't think that people realize that, you know, a lot of these companies are very open to, hey, you want to come and share my game? Let's let's hang out. I'll give you a table to run. Mm -hmm. Such a big help, and you get a little FaceTime with the, you know, the board game insiders. The publishers, and the designers, the, the, the crew. Behind the to see behind the scenes. Uh, yeah, I mean, we we we, we host uh, uh, pizza parties at our cons, but um, just you know to get to know you and, and make sure that everyone knows how to play and all that jazz. Cool. So, for example, if you want to assist us at Gen Con, you can go to our Facebook page and sign up on our Google form. And all you need to do is spend 12 hours working our, with us at our booth, and you'll get an exhibitor badge, which is like leagues better than the normal badge you can yeah. get. You yeah. get into the exhibit hall early. You have special privilege access to a bunch of stuff. Um, it's uh, uh, one of our frequent uh, uh, volunteers is like, yeah, it's worth its weight. It's worth my weight in gold. <laughs> <laughs> um, you also get, uh, you know, a copy of our game. You know, just pick something from our, our catalog and you can have it. And you can trade it with other companies and their volunteers because there's this thing where the volunteers from all of the companies at the end of the convention are like, the company that I'm volunteering for doesn't want to pack this stuff up and take it home. So you, they gave me a copy and I could give it to you and you can give me the copy of your game. <laughs> um, cool. So all that game trading stuff. Yeah, so, um, I mean, you can, we're very open to it. There's also, you know, all sorts of other guys. Uh, uh, Kurt at Smirk and Daggers got his, um, uh, so the Steve Jackson Games guys have uh, Men in Black. And I forget what Smirk and Daggers guys are called. But, yeah, like, we all have these uh, volunteer programs because we're always looking for excited, um, enthusiastic individuals to help us at conventions so that we can offer more demos and, and basically have more fun. So going off in a different direction, yeah. what does Slugfest have coming up down the line? Uh, well, we have some stuff that we can't talk about in detail. <laughs> but <laughs> Can we vaguely right. talk about it? I mean, March is going to be interesting as well. Uh, Battle for Greyport uh, got on a boat, and we're going to be... Um, reaching out to our Kickstarter backers for that real soon. Very cool. Um, Red Dragon and Seven's going right now. Uh, we have a the the top tier reward for our Slug Crew program is Murgath the Blessed, a new villain character that you can just get. And uh, he'll be coming out in 2019 with another ally. Um... And, yeah, I think that's all I can talk about right now. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So it's uh, March. That's all, that's all we got. So March. Keep your eyes peeled. Can, can, can you tell us more at Gamma, Sam? Yes. It'll be, there will be more at Gamma. Okay. Because Matt and I will be at Gamma, and oh, we'll, well, we'll kidnap no. you. <laughs> It'll happen very early at Gamma. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, Sam, is there anything else that you wanted to talk about for uh, Red Dragon in 7 before we get into uh, the preview section of our Spotlight stream? Let's see. Uh, Red Dragon in 7 ends in 53 hours. Back it, uh, back it, back it. I so didn't it'll be at 11.59 p.m. PST. So uh, we, we always do have like a couple of flex weeks where we just allow people to uh, uh, pick up the pledge levels through our website. Uh, but that's just so that, you know, you're always going to get the, like, 1% of backers who who don't have their funding information correct, and it's just easier to refund them through Kickstarter and have them go over to PayPal um, and that sort of thing. So we'll have, like, a couple of weeks, but we're actually kind of tight on, on Red Dragon and 7. Normally, we, we've got a few months before we have to really push it out the door, where because of the stuff that's happening in March, we kind of have to push it out a little bit faster. Yeah. It's good busy. It's great busy for Slugfest. We're really excited for oh, you guys. 
It, it is it is a fantastic uh, as as Jeff likes to call it a first world problem. <laughs> we are successful and therefore we are busy. <laughs> it's um, the best kind of problem see. to have. It's the best kind of problem to have. Uh, we have our playtest uh, group available. You can sign up for it and join us. We play every day. Uh, not me, not necessarily every day, but I try to. Um, but I've got wonderful playtest managers who host games uh, through Tabletop Simulator, and you get to see all sorts of cool, fun stuff um, that isn't out there yet. Uh, and yeah, I think that I think that just about covers everything for Red Dragon and Seven. Anyway. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for joining us, Sam, and thank you all for watching at home. Uh, this was another fantastic Spotlight presentation uh, by Twist Gaming. Fantastic. Really happy to do Red Dragon in 7. Uh, big shout-out to them. Big shout-out to Sam. Shout-out to Slugfest. Thank you guys so much. We really do appreciate it. Stay tuned if you're watching live. We're going to be doing the uh, preview section or first look section of our Spotlight stream where we like to talk about our favorite points of the game and then any sort of constructive criticisms that we have. Uh, but other than that, thank you all, and stay tuned. I'm Matt. I'm Anne. Josh. Thanks again, Sam. <laughs> Bye, Sam. Bye. I was muted for myself. Right. I'm Josh. <laughs>